Greetings, salutations, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to picturesque Greenville, South Carolina, and Furman's Timmins Arena. It's Championship Sunday here in the South Atlantic Conference as Catawba College's Catawba Indians, the Piedmont Division champions, take on the upstart and the UVA Wise Highland Cavaliers. Hello everyone, I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Andrew Rogers. Just pleased as punch that you've elected to join us for Championship Sunday. And Andrew, storylines aplenty. For Catawba, a team playing for its strength and conditioning coach who passed away earlier this week. For UVA Wise, a team that was picked 12th in the preseason poll. Couldn't write a better script for either one of these teams. Absolutely, Adam. Two incredible stories. And when you think about what Catawba was last year, 11 wins this year. 22 UVA wise, four wins last year, 19 this year. So two incredible turnaround stories. And it should be an exciting matchup. Both teams have gotten here with tough paths and have beaten some really quality teams to get here. Take a look at the bracket and how we got to this juncture. Uh, and it wasn't without a degree of entertainment. Uh, UVA wise, the upset over LMU in the semifinals. Catawba stiff arms Tusculum to pave their way into the SAC title game. Certainly both were pretty good games. The Catawba 11-point victory is an outlier of how competitive that game was. Same with the Wise LMU game. That ends up being an eight-point game. But both teams put up really good numbers offensively. You see it by the 86 and 84-point totals. But both teams can play defense as well. So it's an intriguing matchup of two teams that deserve to be in this spot. Catawba second in the conference in scoring UVA Wise number three. And it starts with two pretty good guards for both these teams. Bradley Dean for UVA Wise, Javion Jones for Catawba, both all-conference players. Both can get it done in all areas of the game. Ne neither has to rely on the dribble drive or the three-point shot. Dean yesterday was able to fill the stat sheet, got to the free throw line, only made one three-point field goal, was able to get into the lane. He did a little bit of everything to get what was another 30-point game. He had 35 against Lincoln Memorial yesterday. The SAC Player of the Year showed out and showed up when it mattered most for Blake Mellinger's team. And then Javion Jones, you mentioned uh, him and what he's been able to do this year, a second-team all-SAC pick but averages 15 a game. Does a lot of his work sometimes on the glass. Five boards per game. Does a really good job uh, facilita facilitating as well for this team at nearly four assists per game. But he gets it done on the defensive side too, which makes him even better of a defensive player, number one in the nation in steals per game. UVA Wise in its first South Atlantic Conference tournament period. The Highland Cavaliers, fairly new members of the league. They go against one of the conference's blue bloods in the Catawba College, Catawba Indians. Catawba looking for a ninth title. They are among the league leaders in that regard. Catawba likely has sewn up its league best 12th NCAA tournament appearance already, uh, barring the outcome of this game. Should be an entertaining one between one of the old heads in the South Atlantic Conference in Catawba and the new kid on the block in the UVA Wise Highland Cavaliers. Starters are headed your way when we get back to Timmins Arena after these messages on Flow Sports. You can feel it as you approach. You can feel it from the mountains, from the river, from the front porches and the bike paths, from the bats 
and the balls, from the main streets and the not so main streets, you can't help but feel that it's different here, more refreshing here. So that after a few days here, you'll feel different too. Greenville, South Carolina, truly the breath of fresh air you've been waiting for. Back at Timmins Arena, Adam Cavalier, Andrew Rogers, happy to have you on hand for Championship Sunday. Michael Watring, our sideline reporter, and let's break down today's starting fives. First for the lower seeded team and the visitors on the scoreboard, the University of Virginia College at Wise and the Highland Cavaliers. Certainly Bradley Dean, Adam, uh, is the key piece to this team, but there's so many different players that can make an impact. Lightford had a double-figure performance. Patrick Shelley had 16 when these two teams met back earlier in the regular season. Bryson and Lawson are certainly players that obviously will need to play well for this team as well. Meanwhile, for Catawba, much the same group that Rob Perrin has utilized for the majority of the season. Very balanced effort. Five guys that all nearly average in double figures, led by Jones's 15 points per game. D'Angelo Epps, another all-conference player, a second-team pick, averaging 14 and 5. Peyton, a double-figure scorer. Scarborough, a double-figure scorer as well. Very similar. A lot of different options that can score. UVA Wise has exactly two tournament crowns in its men's basketball history, both when they were members of the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Back in their old NAIA days, Catawba with eight SAC tournament titles. They're eight and two in title games. You go with the old heads, you go with the upstarts. Lawson versus Gerald for the jump. And we are set for the championship game. Gerald wins the tip, and the Piedmont champions start out the game with the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense for the Highland Cavaliers to open this thing up. Robinson wants a triple, and he connects to open the contest. And right away, Adam, Catawba in their full court pressure. We'll see how Wise handles it. One of the better teams at taking care of the basketball, best in the conference in turnovers per game, just 12. Kalen Lightford has been playing turnover free at that point guard spot. He didn't have one over the final 28 minutes against LMU yesterday. Nice feed inside, Shelley through contact, finishes at the cup. Great find, Ben Bryson was double teamed and it's a better cut by Shelley to the open hole and the defender on the back side was late to stop Shelley's attempt. Robinson, deep look from range, swirls at home. Robinson off the catch. Back to back triples for Chris Robinson. Katama up four early. Wise turns it over. Well, no, Shelley picks it up. Bryson, look what I found, triple. Missed it short off the front iron. Robinson, the rebound and running. Robinson, he scored all six of the Indians' points, but he turns it over here. Lightford, there's Dean. Inside out, Lawson a three. He snaps the strings. Lawson didn't attempt a three yesterday against LMU. First time that's happened. He gets going from beyond the arc here early. One point game favoring Catawba. He only took five shot attempts yesterday to expect him to be a little bit more aggressive. Jones a three, short. Maybe a little fool's gold from all these three point attempts early from Catawba. Lightford in transition, good move to the cup. Uses the window to sink it. Wise has its first lead after Catawba led by four early. Both teams love to run. It was a 95-81 game in the regular season. Expect a similar scoring output if these offenses continue to stay hot. Gerald banging his way inside, misses the chippy. Can't handle the rebound though, and it's back to the Cavs. 
Hot hands here early. Good pace. Wise has made 75% of its shots. Catawba started two of four from the field. And one, two, two, full court press. Wise breaks it easily. And the freshman Lightford will get the Kylan Cavaliers into the half court. Lightford, drive, dish, open look from deep. Shelly misfires. Just 16 made threes for Shelly. Half court lob, too tall for Epps. Off his hands and out of bounds. You'll live with that shot attempt from Wise on the initial as you get a look at Robinson's half court lob. Right idea, just a little bit behind the high flying Epps. Mataba looking to retake the lead. Lightford. Getting into Bryson's hands. Nice feed loss in the kick. Shelley, wide open look, missed it short. Mataba daring him to shoot. He is 0 for 2 from beyond the arc on back-to-back three-point attempts. Indians have it scored in two minutes. Scarborough trap passes out of it. Touch pass for Robinson. Dean nice closeout. Beat it inside Gerald. The drive, Lawson altered it. Gerald's second chance, sticks it in off the glass. Good stick to it of miss by Peyton Gerald. Gatava seesaws back in front by one. Austin strip, whistle and a foul. Get Javion Jones with his first. First on the Indians. Late call, but I think the right one here. Lawson a little bit loose with the dribble, and Jones gets him on, I think, the knee or the thigh there trying to go for the swipe. Got some of the ball, but part of Lawson as well on the swipe throw. Entertaining basketball here inside of Timmins Arena in the early going. Wise hunting for its first tournament crown since 2010. Catawba won its last tournament in 2019. It back when they were members of the Appalachian Athletic Conference as members of NAI. Dean Jones doesn't give him much space. Gets Lawson for a corner three. Misses it short. Jones the rebound and running. Robinson, quick trigger, right corner. Spins out, no, Dean the board. Dean can get in transition, slaloming to the bucket, all the way to the hoop for two. He makes it look so easy, Adam, just glides into the air. You have to run him off the line in transition, able to get all the way to the basket. And Think about the start for UVA Wise. They've been good offensively. That's the first shot Bradley Dean has taken. That's Rob Perrin, what's it take to defend him? He said, put big athletic guys on him. Jones spinning in, fading, tough shot from two, no. Offensive board, stick back, good for Dre Nelson. Off the bench. Back in Catawba's favor. Back and forth, back and forth we go. Neither team has led by more than four. Three lead changes, turnover. Indians to the bucket, hard, but no hoop for Jones. He shoots two free throws. Charge the personal to Lightford. His first, first on the Highland Cavaliers brings us to our first break. Entertaining basketball here from Timmins Arena. Jones getting up and down off the turnover. Turnover. He shoots two after this on Flow Sports. Sure, we've been around a while. 171 years to be exact. We know the power of a liberal arts-based Christian education and the tremendous potential of what can be found on this campus within this community. We are adventurers, dreamers, believers, passionate and compassionate, curious and clever, driven by a common purpose towards a common goal. I found my passion. I found purpose. We are Carson Newman. What will you find? You can feel it as you approach. You can feel it from the mountains, from the river, from the front porches and the bike paths, from the bats, and the balls from the main streets and the not so main streets. You can't help but feel that it's different here, more refreshing here. So that after a few days here, you'll feel different too. Greenville, South Carolina, truly the breath of fresh air you've been waiting for. Back here at Timmins Arena, Adam Cavalier, Andrew Rogers, Michael Watrang, happy to have you on hand. 
is Kataba. Trying to lay claim to its ninth SAC tournament championship. First SAC title game that UVA Wise has ever played in. Kataba won the only meeting between these two teams back in January. After Wise went 0 of 16 from three in the second half, and Jones sinks the first of two to put Kataba up by two. Fast-paced game here early, Andrew, and that probably favors both of these teams' styles. Yeah, both teams love to get out and run. UVA Wise loves to spread the floor as well to knock down the three-point shot, one of the better three-point shooting teams, and saw Jones make a pair of free throws. This is a Catawba team that shoots a lot of free throws. Number one in the conference in free throw attempts, and they make a lot of them as well. Pull up from Kruster at the elbow, halfway down and out. Indians get the stop. Epps downstairs, missed the first. Got the putback, though. You mentioned that lone meeting between these two teams. Catawba was plus 23 on the glass. Wise has got a box out. Austin, one and done after the missed three. Indians already plus five on the boards. Trey Nelson going to work inside. He backs it out. Catawba resets. Jones, behind the back on Fruster. Tough runner, won't fall. The tap, though, from Jones will. Seven-point Catawba lead is the Indians' biggest, and it comes on the heels of an 8-0 run. Already four offensive rebounds. It's the second chance opportunities that has propelled the Indians on this run. Dean trying to get going. Fades from the middle of the lane and converts from eight feet out. Four for Bradley Dean. Dean is 17 away from matching Denzel Jones' SAC tournament scoring record. He scored 84 points for Anderson back in the 2012 tournament. Buoyed by that 50-point game and a 2 OT win over Newberry. Three-pointer off the mark. Divins an offensive board, but it's dispossessed. And Ben Bryson comes away. Dean. Stripped as he spins in. Lawson gets it back. Dean wanted the step back, didn't have his footing though. Gets it to Fruster. Wise resets. Dean behind the back. Kick Fruster. Fruster around Bivens to the hole. Right hand scoops it in off the glass. Good answer points there for UVA Wise and the Highland Cavaliers trim it to three. Good initial defense by Catawba, nearly had this steal. Hustle play by Lawson to keep it alive and eventually get the basket. Epps. A lot of standing. Jones pull up, left elbow. Got it from 17, probably not the cleanest offensive possession for Catawba, but hey, it worked. Yeah, when you have a guy like JV on Jones, you toss him the ball and say, we need a basket. Nobody was really cutting there with the basket, though the basketball and Epps' hands on the block, but Jones they would have knocked down the shot. First made field goal for JV on Jones. He's got four points. Brewster inside out. Bryson kicked Dean wide open. Head of the key. Splash. Can't leave Bradley Dean that wide open. He's got seven. Cavs down two. That's a mistake on JV on Jones' part. The all-conference player and one of the best defenders in the conference. Decided to help off of Bradley Dean. You cannot help off of him. You'd rather someone else drive than let him shoot a three. Pivots. Deep two, won't go. Offensive board, Nelson. Kick for Epps. He shoots from distance and splashes it in. D'Angelo Epps nails his 27th three of the season. He's got five, and that's the Indians' lead. 11 of the 21 Catawba points are second chance points. We're only, we're not even halfway through the opening half. Lawson doesn't get the roll. Catawba, five offensive rebounds. They've got as many offensive rebounds as UVA Wise has defensive boards. Nice feed for Bivens. Nelson gets the take to the cup. Back to a seven point lead for Catawba, matching the Indians' biggest. Dean from deep again. Front of the 10, no good. 
Jones the rebound. You talk to UVA Wise folks, they say, if Wise is bringing home the championship, Dean's got to score 30. Bivens a three on the other end, and that prompts a timeout for the Highland Cavaliers. Kataba surges ahead by 10 with an 8-0 run in the last minute. Brings us to a break. Bivens heating up from range here on Flow Sports. This is Catawba College, where you can feel at home for the next four years. This is where your tomorrow takes shape. If you want to transform into the person you have the potential to be. If you aspire to inspire the world around you and others. If you want to discover a sense of belonging and make it what you want, there's a place for you here. Catawba College is waiting. Are you ready? Thank you. 26-16, Catawba has stretched it to 10 with an 8-0 run over the last minute. Indians have made their last three shots from the field and probably more critically are absolutely smashing the glass. Plus eight on the Highland Cavaliers and now the press bothering Wise a turnover. Kowalski into Lawson, fades, no, Gerald tip drill jam. 10 straight for Catawba. Lawson nearly turned it over. Bryson Corrales gets the cup, can't finish. Uka on offensive board, foul on the floor. How about that? That is UVA Wise's first offensive rebound. And it comes nine minutes and 46 seconds into this one. Kalen Lightford was out of the game. Wise quickly brings him back into the game after the turnover and dunk by Gerald on the other end. You see Uka get the rebound and draw the foul. Dean from distance. Missed it front of the 10, but one and done. Caleb Wallace, the Carson Newman transfer, gets the rebound. He goes full court, but gets stripped by Ben Bryson, who then promptly loses it out of bounds. So one turnover begets another. By the way, the foul on the previous possession was on Amazion Tinsley, his first and the team's second. Tom on a 10-0 run. It's not like Wise hasn't scored in a minute. This is just a 10-0 explosion for the Indians. Wise trying to find its footing. Kowalski to the cup. Didn't get a good look. Uka prevents a second chance. Dean, nice crossover. Draws two, passes out of it. Lawson. It's airborne, finds Dean. Catch three, spins out. Wallace boxes out Lawson for the rebound. 10 straight for the Indians. Wise hasn't scored in two minutes. Bivens. Heat check three, back iron, no. Gerald, another offensive rebound. Right to the cup, right hand finish. UVA Wise is giving up offensive rebounds left and right. Catawba with 13 second chance points. Indians on a 12-0 run. They continue to take advantage of the mismatches inside. Long misses, creating second chances for Catawba. Uka. Stripped, picked up by Tinsley. Tinsley winning the race to the rim. His layup won't fall. Lawson the rebound, and then he's hacked on a reach by Tinsley. Second personal on Tinsley, 13 foul on the Indians. Wise has missed five straight shots. They've also turned it over three times in the last three minutes. Offensively, the Highland Cavaliers are out of sorts. 11 of their 18 shots right now are beyond the arc. When you look at their offense, it's a five-out look because of how Catawba, after that full-court pressure, is getting this Cavaliers team. The painted area is open, but nobody's been able to drive the basketball on this Indians defense. Lawson, pump fakes the three, gets it to Lightford. Back to Lawson in the corner. Near steal head of the key by Gerald. Dean gets an open look from distance, but he can't get it to fall. Two for 12 from beyond the arc for the Highland Cavaliers. She had such issues yesterday against LMU making three-point shots. It's been a problem today. Dean off the steal. 
to the cup, misses the layup, and the rebound punched out of bounds. It's back to Catawba. UVA Wise can't buy a bucket. They've missed seven straight. Good steal. Good look for Dean with the left hand, too. Quality defense by Wallace to do enough to alter and put Dean in a tough position from that left side. Adam, UVA Wise was down nine multiple times in the first half against Lincoln Memorial yesterday. Found a way to hang around. This is a tougher deficit. Another offensive rebound for Trey Nelson. And a shove on Ron Uka. First on him, second on the Cavs. Look at it. I mean, the rebounding is just so heavily slanted in Catawba's favor. Plus 11 on the glass, seven offensive boards, and Catawba has scored off of every miss that it's got an offensive rebound. Things around. Scarborough muscling it up, gets it to go. Case in point. Wise, good defense on the first. The second and third, the problem. Just so many extra looks, and it's not just one guy. It's the whole group effort. You've got maybe one or two guys around the perimeter getting back on defense or staying close to the defensive end. Now everybody else is crashing the glass hard. Meanwhile, Wise one and done on the other end. Lawson misfires from deep. Wallace passes up an open corner, three spins inside, reverse layup. Whistles it in off the window. Timeout, Highland Cavaliers. 16 straight for the Indians. UVA Wise hasn't scored in four minutes and 45 seconds. Caleb Wallace, a whirling dervish and finishing with English here on Flow Sports. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Excellence, integrity, care, curiosity. These are the values that define who we are, a community of thinkers, competitors, and achievers passionately pursuing the path of a purpose-driven life. Because at Lenore Rhine University, we are called to greatness. We are LR. Catawba's offensive rebounding firmly on display here at Timmins Arena. 17 second chance points for the Catawba College, Catawba Indians. And as a result, Catawba scoring on 63% of its possessions. 1.5 points of possession for Catawba. UVA wise at .6. There's your difference, and it's because of the offensive rebounding making up for the fact that Catawba's only shooting 44% from the field. Indians plus 16 on the glass. Dean behind the back, fades from the free throw line, knocks it down from 15. That's nine for Bradley Dean, 12 away from the SAC tournament scoring record. Jones the other way. Open look at the cup and he works it in with the right hand. Javion Jones getting started, he's got six. Back to an 18-point game for the Indians. Uka pumps, got stripped. Jones a steal. The nation's leader, Shed Zuka, gets into the paint, hop step on Dean, lost it going up, but he draws a foul. This is textbook defensive work from JV on Jones. He waits until Uka spins to get the steal. You'll see a look at the foul on Dean. Good drive from Jones coast to coast, but he waits until Uka spins to go middle, and Jones is right there to knock it away from him. Jones puts in his seventh point. Jones 
obviously the nation's leader in steals. We've mentioned that. He's seventh all time now in steals for a single season in sack history. Four guys in league history have hit triple digit steals in a single season. It might take a little deep tournament run to, to get him there, but still, certainly an argument for him to be defensive player of the year. Granted, Bryant Thomas, one of the best shot blockers from Carson Newman, won that. Right, right wing trip up, go down. Guys continues to struggle from deep there, 2 of 14. Tava by 20. Jones straight off. Fires short. Dean the rebound and racing front court. Dean slaloming. Puts it into the corner. Dean. Kick. Extra pass. Light for drive. Scarborough blocks. Wallace the board. Two on three. Doesn't have numbers, but Robinson hope. Hunts an open three. Bullseye! It's a 23. Two run for Kataba over the last six minutes. Surging ahead by 23. Dean trying to answer. Back iron, no. Scarborough the board. Wallace wants another three. Splash down. 26 of the last 28 points in this game have been scored by Catawba. Oh, a whistle and a foul on the Indians. This defensive effort is phenomenal. UVA-wise is struggling from the field, but it is because of the defense that's leading to open looks like this for Wallace from long range. No wonder Wise has been so efficient. It's because they're getting out in transition. Wise is having to hustle back time and time again because they're missing at the rim or from the perimeter. And Katapas grabbed the defensive rebound and has wasted no time to run down the other end. A whole lot of everything that's adding up for the Indians at this point. Dean, loose ball, saves it. Bodies falling everywhere. Gerald grabbed it, but he loses it. Shelley, can you take advantage of the broken play? Shot clock did not reset. Five on the clock. Lawson heaves from deep, and he rattles it in. Stops a string of 12 straight misses from deep for Wise. Does that put a halt to that 26-2 Kataba run? Bivens. Touches it, Gerald. Back to Bivens. Through contact, no, but a foul. What a quick decision by Gerald out of the post. He gets doubled immediately and finds the open cutter. He wasted no time when he saw the double team come to find the open cutter, which was Bivens, who draws the contact on Bradley Dean. Bivens to the strike. Cancer. Oh, Catawba's just playing well all the way around. They've shot a, a formidable percentage at 47%, but that's even more grossly in their favor when you consider the 11 offensive boards and the 17 second chance points. Two and two trip, they're perfect at the stripe, six is six. And hunting good transition three, six of 10 from deep. Up by 25 right now, a 26 to two. Kataba run is the difference maker. Gerald in the flexion. Look, look how far out Frewster and Shelley are trying to make that pass. They're near out by half court trying to start the offense. Kataba defensively is locked in. Indians by 25 trying to hunt down a ninth league tournament championship. Back to Timmins Arena. Indians in control. You're on Flow Sports. I chose LMU because I wanted doors to open for me. For my future to have endless possibilities. To know I could become anything I wanted to be. Objection, Your Honor. I always wanted to say that. So whether I wanted to be a veterinarian, a high school teacher, let's turn to page 32, or a successful dentist, I knew LMU would help me get there. All I had to do was open the door. Conductor, how about something new you played this last year? 
Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? Why is my kid still way in the back? The conductor only plays his favorite. Catawba in control on UVA wise thanks to transition buckets. Chris Robinson dialing distance from range. Caleb Wallace raining one down from deep. It's led to Catawba. Sharp shooting away at 6 of 10 from beyond the arc en route to this 25 point first half lead. Loose ball. Who's it off of? Off of Chris Robinson. Stays with UVA wise. Andrew picks up. It's gone Katama's way in this one. Everything, absolutely everything. Defense has created offense. And when the offensive attempt initially hasn't gone down, they've gotten a second chance opportunity pretty much every trip down. Deep shot clock. Brewster with a heave. Well, that missed nearly everything. That looked like our camera operator, Gary LaPrairie, chucking one up. You didn't have to do Gary like that, Adam. I did. <laughs> no, our crew has been fantastic. Max Bryant, Rick Shintahome, Jay West, and Gary LaPrairie on our high camera. Our director, Ian Johnson, and Danny Zork, our replay operator. So thrilled that they can bring these pictures to you. Vivian short with his fadeaway. If Wise can build any momentum here at the end of this half, it's a triple off the mark. Epps gets the rebound and brings it front court. Behind the back, muscling, floating, falling for two. Catawba has outscored UVA Wise 30 to five over the last eight and a half minutes. They've stretched it to 27. Largest lead and. Rick Wise turned it over on the inbound. I didn't exactly see what happened. He crossed the baseline on the inbounds. I, I, I missed it as well. Robinson, pull up from deep. Go down, cruise to the rebound. He's looking for something, anything. Getting into traffic and drawing a foul. Charge it to Tinsley, that's his third. He's been whistled for three of Catawba's five fouls. Now, 27 points is a lot to come back from, but the way that these two teams have played the pace of the game, it's not out of the imagination to consider that Wise can sneak back into this game. If a couple of shots start to fall, you take advantage of Catawba maybe cooling off from behind the arc. They're 6 of 11 from three-point range. It's not out of the imagination to think that UVA Wise can cut into this deficit at some point in the second half, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Uh, if I were to pick a team that Catawba reminds me of, and, and this isn't an exact comparison, uh, Catawba's the outlier in this league because of how they pressure on defense and how they force turnovers. They remind me a little of Dave Davis's Newberry teams from the mid-2010s. Uh, but Dave went five out, five in, sub every 90 seconds, and it was 40 minutes of press. Catawba doesn't quite do that, but the result of those Newberry teams, no lead was ever safe, regardless of whether Newberry had it or the opponent had it. I don't know if pace of play if it swings that far out of the realm of Catawba's direction as Scarborough drives. Uh, but, I mean, Wise just has to hope Catawba flings up a shot in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock and misses. It feels like this is a mountain overcome. Scarborough doing work to get to the line where it's been an adventure for him this season. 31 makes. On 69 attempts, and rims out left side. 
You saw in that replay, Scarborough getting fit bound, but at the end of it, Javion Jones was right there and had the offensive rebound. Had there not been a foul called relentless effort on the glass, Javion Jones with six rebounds as well. Otaba, plus 17 on the glass. Bryson gets it into Dean's hands between the rings. Stripped by Jones, then stripped by Scarborough. Robinson ahead to Scarborough. Euroing to the cup. Foul on the floor. Ball out of bounds on the baseline. After the personal on Dim Bryson, his first. And the fifth on Wise. Nice take by Scarborough. Hit the Euro. Epps backs down Bryson, turns, right hand. Front of the 10, the miss. Scarborough rising up for a tip chance. Got a shove on Uka. More offensive rebounds. Second on Uka, sixth on the Cavs. Just look at the athleticism from Adrian Scarborough. Tough position on Uka, and he still gets the job done. Now can he make his free throws? Strong off the heel. 12 UVA-wise total rebounds, 12 offensive rebounds for Catawba. I don't know if Rob Perrin picked up on the mic. As he said, love-hate relationship with the free throw shooting. 0-4 <laughs> now, missed it short. But an offensive rebound. Are you surprised? Jones, reverse layup, smooches it in off the window. Catawba's hung half a hundred in the first half. Indians up by 29. Lawson fading, misfiring. Scarborough rebound. Catawba has out rebounded UVA wise 31 to 13 in the first half. Jones blocked out of bounds by Lawson. That's not just the rebounding, it's it's everything. Catawba's playing without fouling, they're playing without turning it over. They forced nine first half turnovers for UVA wise. They're shooting efficiently, and when they're missing, they're getting oodles of second chance opportunities. Epps pulling his way inside. Dean blocks him out of bounds. And Catawba's made Bradley Dean be inefficient. 40% 40, 40 from the field, one of five from three. Yeah, he's only got one turnover, but he has just been hounded by several different players. Lincoln Memorial did it yesterday, tried to do it yesterday, put a bunch of different lengthy athletic guys on him and it's worked for Catawba but the full court pressure has sped up the UVA wise Cavaliers they've only turned it over well they have turned it over nine times which is high for a team like this but it's had them uncomfortable offensively Wallace misses from mid-range Dean the rebound Catawba back in transition UVA wise doesn't get out on the break Shelley he gets the continuation counted off the window and one Shelley puts a personal on Robinson, his first. Sixth on the Indians. Shelley an and one opportunity after he stops a two minute, three minute, 22 second scoring drought. Well, you want to know the difference? A 30 to five Catawba run. Minute left, Catawba by 26. They've led by as many as 29 here in the first half. The big lick was a 16-0 run. Over an eight and a half minute stretch, the Indians outscored the Cavaliers 30 to five. Epps, bounce feed Gerald. Drop it off, Nelson. Pumps, leans, and hits. Katawa so effective at the cup. Shelley drives the other way and finger rolls it in. Good strong take by Shelley. Have a six point lead. Cavaliers needed to do more of this. They fell in love with a three point shot early on and they still weren't falling, just three of 16, but more drives like that are important for Shelley than the Cavs. Epps to the cup for two. Epps with nine. Everybody for Katawa getting involved. Shot clock off, but we got a bailout foul. He goes for the Cavs. After Caleb Wallace picks up his 
first, team seven. Knocked down the first free throw. Second free throw from White brings in. And the margin is 26. Jones weaving his way front court. I don't think he got it off in time, but it was wide right anyway. Absolute domination by Kataba in the first half. The record for largest margin of victory in a title game is 21. Zaba might be hunting that down here today. Big time first half for Kataba Colleges, Kataba Indians. Let's send it over to Michael Watrang, who's standing by with Kataba's head coach, Rob Perrin. Coach, uh, nearly a perfect first 20 minutes of play. You dominated the paint. What was it about your team's aggression early? Well, we, we wanted to make sure that we made an emphasis to go inside and you know teams haven't been shooting real well here and so and we actually made a couple threes earlier which I think made it easier to get the paint but really been able to get the paint because we've gotten stops and that, that's the key thing for us get stops and get runouts and kind of put them on their heels. Bradley Dean had a great scoring night last night you've had him in check in this one what have you done about the defensive effort there? Well we guard him with a lot of different people and we try to keep multiple bodies in front of them and and try not to foul him you know he'll, he's going to get his 20 points but if you let him make 10 free throws, he's gonna get 30 points. So we wanna make him make tough shots and not let him go to the free throw line. How do you ensure your team keeps the pedal to the metal in the second half? It is zero to zero. I'm not really a very content person. So I was pretty animated with a couple timeouts. So like, they'll understand that and they'll, they'll expect a little fire from me coming in there. So we'll wanna win both halves, that's the deal. Coach, appreciate the time. Thanks so much. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much. Michael Watrang, Kataba, cruising. Up 54 to 28 on the UVA Wise Highland Cavaliers on Championship Sunday here at the SAC Tournament. Halftime Report heads your way after these messages here on Flow Hoops. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. Violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. So what happens now? Your response in the heat of the moment is the only thing you totally control, and we have an experiment for you to try. Simply stated, just cheer for your child or the team you're there to support. Move that desire to lash out to a different place and encourage without rage. Your child's sporting memory should be about how you helped inspire and not about how you caused embarrassment. All right, back courtside at Timmins Arena, Adam Cavalier alongside Andrew Rogers. Our sideline reporter today is Michael Watrang. And Andrew, uh, if something went right in this game, it went right in Catawba's favor. Indians build a 26-point halftime lead. I mean, literally look at anything on the stat sheet. 
Uh, and it belongs to Katawa. <laughs> yeah, the Indians pretty much dominated that entire first half. Things were pretty tight early on, but eventually it was defense, offensive rebounding, outside perimeter shooting that was stellar throughout. It was a complete domination of a first half from a Catawba team that's played really good basketball all season long uh, against the UVA Wise team that came in with a lot of momentum. You see the double team, uh, one of few times where UVA Wise did not turn it over and allow a bucket from Catawba on the other end to get a good look. Wise was good starting out. They were able to execute early on, but things started to unravel when the, um, when the outside shots weren't falling. Bradley Dean had his nine points, but he didn't shoot any free throws, and he shot 40% from the field. you got to credit what the Indians were able to do as a collective unit on the defensive end. Six steals, a block, and plus 20 on the glass. It's the plus 20 that's the big thing and we you know we talked in the pregame show about Brad Dean and him maybe setting some records and he he still could he needs 12 points to become the all-time uh, leading scorer in sack tournament history but right, Catawba could set some records as well I mean we're tracking most rebounds in a game largest margin of victory uh, potentially most points in a game there's a lot that uh, could add up for the Indians as they have played off the charts good. Probably safe for the regional, but definitely looking to leave, no doubt. 54-28, Catawba up at the halftime break. More of the halftime show. We get back after this on Flow Sports. The NCAA sponsors 90 national championships each year, none of which could happen without officials. There's an urgent need for sports officials across the country as they are retiring four times faster than they are coming in, leaving shortages at all levels of sport. The NCAA recognizes the importance of officiating on the student athlete experience and is dedicated to the recruitment and retention of new officials for all sports. There are many great reasons to become an official. Stay in shape and get paid to do so. Meet new people and build relationships within a tight-knit community. Give back to the sport you love by creating a fair atmosphere and upholding the integrity of the game. Say yes to officiating. Visit ncaa.org slash say yes to officiating for more information on how to get started. Back at Timmins Arena, Adam Cavalier, Andrew Rogers. Happy to have you on hand. And uh, we examine the bigger picture here uh, within the southeast region. Uh, Catawba uh, might be a little pins and needles. Ranked sixth uh, in the final iter iteration of the region rankings. But certainly this performance, it doesn't matter if you, <laughs> if you went... If you want to win the 
tournament title, hey, you're going to be safe. Absolutely. Uh, and so, Kataba, uh, as long as this result holds and we don't have one of the crazier comebacks, uh, the Indians will be bound for the NCAA tournament for a 12th time in school history. Michael Watrang is standing by with UVA Wise head coach Blake Mellinger. Michael. Coach, what was the message to the team at halftime? I mean, really just kind of settle in and play. We uh, Everything we emphasized going into this game, we didn't do. We didn't take care of the basketball, and we gave them 15 offensive rebounds and a half. So we're not going to uh, – not going to win that way. Uh, some of it was self-inflicted. Some of it, obviously, was some things they've done. But we, you know, we just got to try to respond. How do you get back in the game? I think you just got to, you know, take it in five-minute segments. You know, hopefully by the first media, you cut, you know, six or eight points off of it, and just, then just kind of go from there. What do you try to do to get Bradley Dean some better looks? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. They're doing a good job on him. I think their press is giving us issues. Well, I think we got to try to just uh, attack their press a little more. Get, uh, allow him to play in space uh, and then hopefully free some shooters up on the perimeter also. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Michael. To complete the thought on the region talk, uh, you do have a bid stealer from Conference Carolinas. UNC Pembroke lost in the semifinals, so either Emmanuel or Belmont Abbey. Emmanuel leads the Crusaders by 12 at the halftime break. One of those teams is going to knock out uh, a team from the region rankings. Uh, chances are, barring uh, one of the most epic comebacks of all time, uh, you're not going to have a bid stealer from the sack, but a team like a Lander or a Tusculum, uh, it's fingernail gnawing time uh, within the southeast region. Halftime here, wrapping up inside of Timmins Arena. Catawba in the driver's seat, up 26 on the Highland Cavaliers. Second half action heads your way after these messages on Flow Sports. as you approach. You can feel it from the mountains, from the river, from the front porches and the bike paths, from the bats and the balls, from the main streets and the not so main streets. You can't help but feel that it's different here, more refreshing here. So that after a few days here, you'll feel different too. Greenville, South Carolina, truly the breath of fresh air you've been waiting for. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Welcome you back courtside to Timmins Arena. Adam Cavalier alongside Andrew Rogers. Our sideline reporter is Michael Watrang and our fantastic crew on hand with you today. Our director all weekend long, he's done a phenomenal job, Ian Johnson. Our replay operator, Danny Wazork, And our camera operators, Rick Gentahom, Max Bryant, Jay West, and Gary LaPrairie, elated that you've elected to join us for Championship Sunday here at Timmins Arena, where Catawba is trying to run down a ninth tournament title. It was a phenomenal first half, Andrew, a 30-5 run for the Indians. Catawba definitely in the driver's seat. Yeah, the Indians have played very well, and 
you think, well, they have 54 points. You didn't highlight any star player. Well, it's because six guys have more than two baskets. It's been a balanced effort led by J.B. on Jones' 10 points. One more stat I want to throw in here. Kadaba's got 13 made layups. UVA Wise has 11 made buckets. I'll, I'll, I'll do you one other one. Kataba has 15 offensive rebounds. Wise has 14 rebounds, period. Need more of that if Wise is going to make a comeback. Deep three from Lawson goes in. Just the fourth made three of the day for UVA Wise, who's second in the conference in threes made per game. Gerald goes to work inside, tapped out of there by Lawson. Wise limits Kataba to one. Much needed in that regard. Got to be a group effort, too. It's not going to just be Lawson inside or Shelly. It's got to be all five guys boxing out. Need Brad Dean to heat up, too, but he misses from the left wing. Well, Kataba in the first meeting was plus 23 on the glass. A turnover here. Lightford comes away with it. Gives it to Dean. Tough finish. Can't fall. Robinson limits it to one. Parent the half. Hey, we want to win both halves. Gerald from range strokes it. Seventh made three for Kataba. That's just Gerald's second three of the season on his sixth attempt. Those things are happening. Things are definitely going your way. Shelley, after shutting his defender with contact, misses. Epps grabs the rebound. 37th board of the day for Kataba. Gerald, inside out action. It's a second three. Well, he checked for Peyton. He's attempted six all year. Missed that one. And Gerald gets the steal on the other end, just took it away from Shelley. Gerald all the way to the cup, finger rolls in off the window. Gerald, the second in the into double figures, he has 11 on five of 10 shooting. This poor ball handling by Shelley and Gerald in the right spot to knock it away. Dean off the mark, Jones the rebound. Jones in transition, cut off by Lightford, sends it out Robinson, catch three, Drano! Kataba off to an 8-3 spurt to start the second half. Up by 31, their biggest lead of the day. Lawson off the mark from deep. Lob, throw it down. D'Angelo Epps. Ten straight for the Indians. And they're up by 33. Whiteford. Nope. And touched out of bounds. What a turn of events. It was 54-31, Wise got a steal, Bradley Dean missed a layup. Since then, 10 straight points. A couple of threes, a couple of dunks and layups, the flush here from Epps. It's a continuation of the first half domination for Katamba. More steals, more buckets. Dean from the free throw line. Butter, got 11. 10 away from the conference's all-time sack tournament scoring record. 84, Jones spins in on the other side though it has 12. the other way. It's Robinson, open. Short offensive board, stick back, yes for Dre Nelson. Nelson is the fifth Indian into double figures. He has 10 on five of six shooting. The personal goes on Bryson, his second and the first of the half. Chris Robinson, misfire, Nelson collects and finishes. 14-2 run for Kataba. Wise one of their last eight. Kataba shooting 67% from the field in the second half. 
His performance is very impressive. UVA-wise, coming into this game, playing some of its best basketball of the season at the right time of the year, getting hot into the tournament to get to this championship game, and Kataba has pretty much said, I don't care what you did before this, this is our game. Austin into the corner. A three rattles in from Kervin's Yacinth, just his 12th made three of the season. Wise well, looking for any sort of spark. Led by as many as 36 in this one. Loose ball out of bounds, last touch by Nelson. Brings us to a break in the action. Katama up 33 in the championship game. Trying to hunt down the program's ninth title all time here on Flow Sports. Your professors will know you and you will meet students from all over the world. You can do cutting edge research. You'll have fun. And best of all, you can afford it. We offer associates, bachelors, and master's degrees and more than 60 majors and minors within a caring Christian environment. Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Hummel, the president of Tusculum University, and I invite you to become a pioneer, a member of the Tusculum family. It's just a little scrape. What if you let go of fear? Let's get back on the bus. Let go of doubt. Live for the now. Follow your passions. Challenge your thinking. Learn something new. Whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or in your service to others. At Wingate, you can explore close to 40 majors. Get the faculty support you need to thrive with an average class size of less than 25. Experiment, engage, push harder and turn your enthusiasm for learning into the power to make a difference. Back here at Timmins Arena, Adam Cavalier alongside Andrew Rogers, our star watch, Javion Jones and Bradley Dean. Similar numbers. Real tail of the tape. Jones has had a lot of help. Yep, JV on Jones. You see the seven rebounds, too, that stands out. Tied for the team lead in that category, along with those 12 points. A turnover. Epps misses, got his own board, and shoves it back in. 17th offensive rebound for the Indians. 22 second chance points. Sent the other way. Missed it. And a whistle and a foul. It's on Andrew Peacock, his first. First on the Indians. Adam, I took a headphone out and put it to the side, and the first words out of Coach Rob Perrin's mouth in that timeout was, I'm not happy. Because <laughs> they, they left you sent open for that three-pointer, and he knocked it down. I think he's happy, but not with that open look. Micro unhappy, macro uh, dancing. 71-37. Kataba cruising. It was a 30-5 run in the first half over an eight and a half minute stretch. It set the Indians up for success. But they have only built up. Divins drives baseline, zips it out. Kowalski in the paint, twirling, looking for Somebody to pass to. Shot clock deep, fading. Epps missed it. Dean tracks down the long rebound. Baseline drive, you sent. Blows the bunny. Nelson muscles the rebound away from him. Tinsley, mob, throw it down again. D'Angelo Epps thrusts it home with the right hand. Didn't we just see that a couple of plays ago? <laughs> the hey, same that's the, lob? That's the third, I think, for Epps. Second where it's been completed. Dean, middle of the lane. Silky smooth, he's got 13. Eight away from matching Anderson's Denzel Jones, 84 points in the league tournament. I think you trade that for a championship though. Kowalski straight on, misses the three, to the board. 
Luca nearly got picked by Tinsley. Instead, finds it cutting Fruster. Does he get the continuation? Count the basket for Zion Fruster. Back to a 32-point game. Job by Uka realizes that his pocket might have been picked, gives it up to the guard, Brewster, all the way. That reverse layup with the right hand on the left side for two. Brewster eyes the basket and rims out the free throw. Uka mishandles the rebound. Well, just to put this in some context, this is tournament championship number 33. 13 title games have been decided by double digit points, so roughly a third of the championship games. Of those, only two have been decided by more than 15. This is uncommon. Nelson gets open at the bucket on the nice cut for an easy two. You gotta go back to the 98 game. Find the largest margin as Uka runs the baseline and throws it down. Catawba holds the record for biggest margin of victory in a championship game. 1998 beat Wingate 95 to 74. 21 point margin. They're comfortably ahead by 32 right now. Wallace from the corner misses the three off the front iron. Sent the rebound, racing front court. It's all the way to the cup, and Gerald just took it away from him. But he loses it to Bryson, misses the jumper. Bryson got it back. Kick out Lawson off the mark from deep. Tinsley amongst the trees for the rebound. Off-balance runner, hits it with the right hand. First points for Kowalski. Indians up by 34. Been up by as many as 36 in this one. Wise answers with a triple. And I appreciate what Head coach Rob Perrin has done this year. South Carolina Conference Coach of the Year. He's gotten the most out of this team in the championship game, and they're continuing their effort that they put forth in the first half. There's been no let up at all in this second half. He's getting it from everybody that's, that's entered the game today as well. Tinsley, bouncing the high post, Gerald fading. Doesn't get to go off the back line. Let's not forget what Catawba is playing for either. Uh, head strength coach for the department, Chase Tripp, passed away on Thursday. And all of Catawba's warm-up shirts bear his name. LLCT on the back, long live Chase Tripp. Certainly playing for him and his memory. Puts a little foul on the Indians here. Brings us to a break. Catawba in control, 77-46 on the Highland Cavaliers here on Flow Sports. Sure, we've been around a while, 171 years to be exact. Founded on the banks of a creek, this creek, Mossy Creek. We know the power of a liberal arts-based Christian education and the tremendous potential of what can be found on this campus, within this community. We are found here and here and here and here and also here in the classroom, on the field. We are adventurers, dreamers, believers, passionate and compassionate, curious and clever, driven by a common purpose towards a common goal. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are family on a journey of discovery. I found my passion. I found my calling. I found family. I found a way to lead. I found a place to call my own. I found purpose. There's something for everyone. We are. We are. We are Carson Newman. What will you find? Well, we still have 11 minutes and 27 seconds to play, and Catawba throwing it down with Epps on the break. Running the baseline, Uka on the other side for UVA Wise, but no 
don't let Uka's dunk fool you. This has been all Kataba in this one. Cavs with the ball inside to Uka, and he's hand-checked by Peyton Gerald. For Gerald, it's his second. Second or fifth on the Indians, pardon me. Well, again, we still have half of a half to play. As Uka turns it over, Kowalski the steal. Kataba's made 31 field goals. They've tied the SAC championship game record. Kowalski misses. Rebound pings around. That's last touch by Wise. A 46th rebound for Kataba and an 18th offensive rebound. So one more next field goal. Kataba will have made the most field goals ever in a SAC championship game. Wallace wants the corner three, knocks it down. There it is. Most shots ever made by a team in a sack title game. Kataba's knocked down 32 of them. Breaks the record held by Brevard against Kataba in 2010. Dean dispossessed, head of the key. Has to find a cutting Uka. Has fired the pass, but Uka gathers it back in. Now, Yacinth steps out of bounds on the sideline. 13th turnover for UVA Wise. I think the other thing that Kataba is likely to set in this game is rebounding. The single game record for rebounds in a title game is 53. That's held by Presbyterian against Wingate in 2006. The Indians are seven away from that. Up by 34 right now. In line for the largest margin of victory in a sack title game. Bivens works inside. Nice job by Uka to steal it, but he flips it out to Robinson. Around to Jones for a left wing three. Yes, sir. 15 for Javion Jones. That's the 10th made triple for Kataba. They're 10 of 20 from deep and up by 37. Biggest lead of the day for the Indians. Little shove on the Indians. So Javion Jones picks up his second and the fifth on Kataba. Jones just a little tap there to send Shelley to the line who rolls it off to the left. I wonder how much fatigue plays into this for Wise. Had to rally late, needed a Bradley Dean three in the final seconds to beat Newberry in the quarterfinals. Anytime you play LMU, it's going to take every ounce of mustard you got to get the job done. UVA Wise, who let's remember was picked 12th in the preseason poll, has just run out of gas, giving it everything it's got in the tournament. Jones turn around in the middle of the lane, won't go down off the back iron. Sent the rebound. Cavs on the hook. Baseline drive. They shot Shelley. Shelley to the cup. Right hand off the mark. Robinson a rebound. He's got four boards. It's an incredible off offensive output. You mentioned the record now. <laughs> there was 11 minutes left in this game, yeah. and the record was broken, and that is just phenomenal effort. And it's because of the offensive rebounding, the extra efforts here. Nelson with the board this time, ends up in the hands of Jones, allowing him to draw the foul. And Bryson with his third. It's just been outrageous for the top of the And it's not just one guy, it's not yeah. just Jones or Epps saying, well, let me get my 20 or 25 and we'll be fine. It's a bunch of different guys finding the open player. They've got 16 assists, they've assisted on nearly half of their made field goals. And you could probably say a lot of those two are just off of a missed shot and a putback. So they've assisted on a lot of made field goals throughout this game. 20 offensive boards. They have as many offensive rebounds as Wise has defensive rebounds. And it's been that way for the duration of the game. At some point, you kind of expect it to seesaw more toward opposition's defensive rebound. That has not been the case here today. Dean. Right through at the head of the key. Hand off from Lawson. It's Lawson straight on three. 
Spins off left side. Nelson the board. His 10th, he's got a double-double. Indians by 38. Reverse layup, Epps sends it in. 17 for him. Catawba shooting better than 50% after halftime. Wise hasn't made a shot from the field in three and a half minutes. Shelly can't end that streak. One and done, Nelson, his 11th collected carom. Nelson four boards away from the single game sack championship game record. As Epps loses it and then fouls Bradley Dean as he brings it front court. Epps with his first. Sixth on Catawba. Epps, that was a nifty move that he made. His backhand. Too much body. Bryson wants a three. Epps the rebound. He's got seven boards. 52nd rebound for Catawba. They're one away from matching Presbyterian's championship game record. Let's see, they've got the record for field goals made in a title game. Next rebound matches that mark. Epps pulling his way inside. Zip it for Bivens, right block. Easy with the right hand off glass. 89-47. Catawba six points away from matching its own title game record for points in a championship game. Runner for Lightford. Pull up left elbow. Rims out left side. Nelson a 12th rebound. Robinson, NBA range, no. An offensive board by Jones. Most rebounds in a sack title game for the Indians. Jones gets the second point, chance points to extend an 8-0 run. 91 to 47. I hate to keep bringing it up, but it is just the same story over and over again. If it's a missed shot, they're getting the offensive rebound, and then they're scoring it. Bivens with the foul, his first. Team seventh brings us to a break. It has been all Catawba all the time. Indians pounding the Highland Cavaliers. The bulge has swelled to 44 here on Flow Sports. home for the next four years. This is where your tomorrow takes shape. If you want to transform into the person you have the potential to be. If you aspire to inspire the world around you and others. If you want to discover a sense of belonging and make it what you want, there's a place for you here. Catawba College is waiting. Are you ready? Excellence, integrity, care, curiosity. These are the values that define who we are, a community of thinkers, competitors, and achievers passionately pursuing the path of a purpose-driven life. Because at Lenore Ryan University, we are called to greatness. We are LR. Forty-four point lead for Catawba. Adam Cavalier, Andrew Rogers here for the SAC championship game. Andrew, I mean, simply put, Catawba's runaway. Yeah, every statistical category you want to look at, uh, I think they're backward on the comparison. The logos, yeah. So ignore the logos, but you flip them, and that's what you got. Catawba pretty much dominating every statistical category. How about Bradley D making his first trip to the free throw line? Perrin I, mentioned that at the half. Yeah. You can't foul him. LMU did it a good bit yesterday. From the line, I think nine. I think he went nine of ten from the line. First time he gets there today. Well, the, the drama left in this one is what records are going to be broken. As Dean knocks down the second. Wise needs one more point to avoid the record for fewest points 
in a title game. They're tied with Lincoln Memorial, who only scored 49 against Carson Newman when the Eagles won the 2015 title game. Robinson scoops it in from the right side. 93-49 for the Indians. Lawson straight on three. Rattles that one in. Now, wise at least avoids one piece of ignominious history. Tinsley driving, poked out of his grasp, stays with Catawba. The records that Catawba has set today. Most rebounds in a championship game with 54. Most field goals made in a championship game with 37 and counting as Peacock fades off the mark and tapped out by Wallace. Rob Perrin still looking like his grapes are a bit sour. He hasn't sat down all no, day. He hasn't. It hurts my ability to see the game sometimes. So I have yeah. to watch my monitor. Yesterday he was kind and knelt down a lot. Bob's getting up there in the years. His knees might be bothering him. I wonder if he'll sit down at any point. He doesn't seem comfortable with the lead. He's not a big sit down guy. I, I've done games in this league now for a decade. Rob Perrin stands for 40 minutes. And Robinson exits. Deep. 15 for Lawson. He got it. Drop it off Wallace, right baseline. Skip it, Tinsley. Left corner three. Rattles it in. That's just the fifth made three of the season for Amazion Tinsley. And Rob Perrin has taken a seat. Perfect timing yeah. that we brought it up and then he just met. It's like he heard us. I am a little loud at times. Question is how long? Let's see if he's done for today. Gerald misses. I'm genuinely, I've done at least 20 Katama games. At least. First time I've ever seen Rob Perrin sit down. Loss in a three. Back iron no. Shelly the board feeds Lawson running for a right hand hammer. That's got it to 37. Wise is led by as many as 44. Just a dominant effort. Tava has set the sack title game record for most points in the game, a record they held by beating Wingate in 1998. Game also the largest margin of victory. Run out for the. Cavaliers, windmill jam by Shelley. Up here and back up. He wants a timeout, doesn't like how Kataba is starting to finish. Never should have listened to us. He sat down. Wants his team to finish strong. 6 0 run for the Highland Cavaliers. The rim rattler on a windmill jam from Shelley sends us to break here on Flow Sports. In NCAA Division II, I chose LMU because I wanted doors to open for me. For my future to have endless possibilities. To know I could become anything I wanted to be. Objection, Your Honor. I always wanted to say that. So whether I wanted to be a veterinarian, a high school teacher, let's turn to page 32, or a successful dentist, I knew LMU would help me get there. All I had to do was open the door. All right, if you're keeping track at home, championship game records that Catawba has set. Most points, they've got 96. Most rebounds, they've got 54. Most field goals made, they've made 38. Most field goals attempted, they've taken 79. All Indians all the time on the hunt for a ninth tournament title. Wallace. Out of the key, works inside on Lawson. Back to the basket, fades, tough shot. Lawson blocked it, Uka the rebound. Nice pushes tempo. Light. Gets out for the wing, resets for the Cavaliers. 
High arcing layup falls in off the window. Eight straight for UBA Wise, still fighting for the finish. Interested to see how this team moves forward into next season. Obviously, Bradley Dean, one of the better scorers, the best scorer in the conference, will have two years of eligibility left in his collegiate career. Wonder if he ends up back with the Cavaliers. But outside of Luke Lawson, as Wallace drills a triple, outside of Luke Lawson, there's only one other fifth-year guy, Jay Sean Brooks. Everybody else is a junior or lower. There's no true senior on the roster. They start three freshmen, so a young roster that Nick Bellinger has, and certainly the Cavaliers will want revenge for, for what's happened here in the championship game heading into next year. Uka, deep in the clock, spins in on Wallace with the right hand, can't get the ball, got his own miss. Off by Kowalski for the follow-up. Look, Tama could become the first team in championship game history to crest the century mark here. Running inside, Wallace twirls around, whistle, foul or travel, what do we have? I think it was a travel, I think. Yes. Makes sense. Brings us to our final break. Two minutes, 33 seconds, all that separates Kataba from laying claim to its ninth tournament title here on Flow Sports. Tuscaloosa University is the right choice for your degree. Your professors will know you and you will meet students from all over the world. You can do cutting edge research. You'll have fun. And best of all, you can afford it. We offer associates, bachelors, and master's degrees and more than 60 majors and minors within a caring Christian environment. Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Hummel, the president of Tusculum University, and I invite you to become a pioneer, a member of the Tusculum family. left. That's all that separates Catawba from a guarantee of its 12th NCAA tournament appearance all time and its ninth SAC tournament championship. It has been a dominant effort from the Indians from start to finish. Wise trying to get Dean going, gets into the lane and finishes with the right hand. And there it is, Bradley Dean has matched Denzel Jones, 84 points in the SAC tournament. That's a record for Bradley Dean. Divin straight on three. He's off the back iron, scooped up by Dean. His fifth, he can take over sole possession of that mark on this possession. Dean, free throw line, Jay spins out. Bivens corrals. 100 second, 108 seconds left. Bivens inside, right hand, can't finish, but he's fouled. Charge the personal to Uka for his fourth. Uka, yeah, definitely comes across the shoulder there. And Bivens knocks down the free throw. Bivens with 11. He is one of six Indians in double figures, and for the first time in championship game history, a team has scored 100 points. Second free throw rattles in. Ray Nelson is back in. Standing ovation from the Catawba crowd for Ray Kowalski, one of the few seniors that Rob Perrin has on his team. This 100-point effort is a complete team effort. I know we continue to talk about it throughout, but 
We're not going to see Javion Jones again or D'Angelo Epps. They're the closest players to 20 points. But not a single Indian has 20 points. Jones has 19, Epps 17, Robinson 14, Nelson 13, Bivens 12, Gerald 11. I mean, it has been everybody to get the job done today. All right, here's Bradley Dean. This free throw is for him to become the all-time leading scorer for a single sack tournament. Rims out. You think he knows this? I, am I don't loud. think so. I don't think he knows what's at stake. Oh. Bivens exits. Just a one shot. Was a one, yeah, and one. one and one. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody just stayed put. <laughs> So why is, I guess it's a jump ball situation. Okay. Dean. A four loss and a three. Spins out. Tinsley the rebound. Rob Perrin wants time. He's giving everybody a curtain call. Adrian Scarborough exits to a standing ovation. And a lot of hugs from a joyful Indian team. That will be headed to the NCAA tournament for a sack best 12th time. Bataba has set six championship game records tonight. Peacock off the mark, loss in the rebound. Bradley Dean all the way to the bucket, fouled by Peacock. Maybe he does know what's at stake. Aggressive drive to the rim from Bradley Dean. Kataba defensively all evening has done a fine job allowing, forcing him to shoot a lot more three-point field goals and get into the painted area one few times that he's been able to get to the line and draw contact in the lane. Dean, there is his 85th point of the tournament. Nobody has scored more points in a sack tournament than Bradley Dean. He bypasses Denzel Jones of Anderson, who did it in 2012. Luke Lawson pulled from the game by Blake Mellinger. He receives a standing ovation from a good contingent of Highland Cavalier fans in attendance. And a lot of hugs from Lawson as he exits. Dean knocks down the second, 86 points. And now Brad Dean comes off the floor, and he thanks the black and red clad fans in attendance. Thirty four point margin for the Indians. Kinsley pull up Jay off the mark. Down snared by Shelley. Wise hustling light for pulling. And won't go down. Second chance. Brewster. Misfires, a tap by Bryson finds the bottom of the barrel. Two second different shot clock to game clock. Kataba by 32. They managed to build on a 26 point halftime lead. I'm sure the emotions are running through the Kataba family, an inspiring effort, all South Atlantic Conference tournament, particularly here in Greenville. Indians take the shot clock violation. Wise one final possession as Rob Perrin turns to the fans to thank them. Inbounds comes to Lightford, he heaves it from half court and misfires, and that's it. A trip to the NCAA tournament is next. Kataba has completed its chase for a championship. The Indians are SAC tournament champs for a ninth time. A dominating effort, Adam. We could be here the rest of Sunday to dissect everything the Indians did well. But it was everything. They shot it well, they played phenomenal defense, they forced turnovers, they rebounded it well. 
an all-around complete performance in a team most well-deserving of the championship. Catawba sets six championship game records. As the team dances to the fight song with the band. Most points in a title game. Largest margin of victory in a title game. Most rebounds in a title game. Most field goals made in a title game. Most field goals attempted in a title game. And tied for the most assists in a championship game. An otherworldly performance by the Catawba College, Catawba Indians, the only team in 33 championship games to score 100 points. And they do it with the late strength coach, Chase Tripp, who passed away earlier this week, no doubt on the brain. A 30 to five first half run for the Indians and no question they leave no doubt. See the emotion, JB on Jones. Not only that, but getting the NCAA tournament, getting back there are the Indians. All right, let's head over to Michael Watrang, who's standing by with the victorious head coach, Rob Parrott. Coach, at halftime, you told me that you weren't a content person. How do you feel right now? A little bit happier. No, um, I'm really proud of this team. You know, they were picked seventh in the league. And that really motivated them. Uh, and we didn't, you know, we didn't have a lot of guys that come from a tremendous amount of winning, and, they, and they, they learned to win together. We lost some tough ones early, close to really good teams, and they never wavered. We won a bunch of close games, and uh, it's got a really good locker room. We're not perfect by any means, but we play hard and we love each other, and that goes a long way, chemistry and all that stuff. So, most points scored in the his. The, your boys are having fun. They're gonna have fun all day. Uh, most points scored in the history of the SAC tournament in terms of the championship game. <laughs> Why were you guys so efficient offensively? Uh, I think we shared the ball pretty well, and then I think we scored with our defense. And, I, you know, like, I think defense creates offense, and then we play a higher tempo game, and we're very proud of that. And, and we're, you know, I think there's good buy-in, and so I think all that maybe helped us do a scoring record, you know. Now you go to the NCAA tournament. What do you take out of this weekend to build upon that momentum next week? Yeah, we're, we're going to take our vitamins this week, you know what I'm saying, and, and work to get better. And we may add a thing or two to our arsenal, but uh, really just be tightened up, get, get healthy. we got some guys that are very dinged up. and So I think all that's important. And then take about a day to smell the roses and get back to work. Coach, your team's having a dance party. You need to go join them. Congrats. Uh, I am the worst dancer on the team, but they make me participate. So. We'll go have fun, Coach. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang. Rob Perrin heading over to hug Catawba Athletic Director Michelle Cadigan. And the party for the Indians is on here in Timmins Arena. Catawba certainly left no doubt. Indians prevail. My final score of 101 to 69 before the, the ceremony, Andrew, your final thoughts from this one. We summed it up a lot throughout the course of the game, but it was a complete all-around performance from the Indians from start to finish. UVA Wise was trying to hang around early and often, but it was just second chance points, points in the paint, points off turnovers, the rebounding battle, Everything Catawba needed to do to win a basketball game, they did today. They're very deserving of this championship and certainly can make noise next week. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to midcourt where South Atlantic Conference Commissioner Patrick Britz will present the 2023 South Atlantic Conference Basketball Championship Awards. First, for the all-tournament team, as your name is called, please come forward. From UVA Wise, number one, Bradley Dean. From UVA Wise, number 14, Luke Lawson. From Lincoln Memorial, Martez Brown. From Tusculum, Connor Jordan. From Catawba, number zero, Javian Jones. 
From Catawba, number five, D'Angelo Epps. And from Catawba, number 13, Peyton Gerald. And the 2023 South Atlantic Conference Pilot Championship Most Valuable Player from Catawba, number zero, Javian Jones. Our runner-up team for an outstanding effort in today's game. Would the student athletes from UVA Wise please come forward and accept the tournament runner-up award. for UVA Wise runner-up. And now, would the student athletes of Catawba College please come forward and accept the championship trophy. By winning the SAC championship, Catawba earns an automatic berth into the NCAA Division II Basketball Championship. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 South Atlantic Conference Basketball Tournament Champions, the Indians of Catawba College. Catawba celebrates and heads to the NCAA tournament for a league best 12th time. Thank you so much for joining us all weekend long on Flow Sports. We hope you enjoy watching Catawba cut down the nets for our entire fantastic crew. My counterparts today, Andrew Rogers and Michael Watrang, our splendiferous director, Ian Johnson, our wonderful replay operator, Danny Wazorek, and our student camera crew, Rick Gentahome, Gary LaPrairie, Max Bryant, and Jay West. I'm Adam Cavalier. Stick around to watch Catawba cut the net. Have a pleasant rest of your Sunday as the Indians lay claim to their ninth tournament title. <laughs>